What's going on you guys, Cutty from Cutty TV? We are back at it again with another episode of 82 Seconds with Cutty. And I haven't seen you guys for about like 24 hours. I haven't seen you guys since yesterday, so it's been a long day for me, okay guys? Go watch the last episode of 82 Seconds with Cutty. If you missed it, yesterday's episode was so popping that you need to go back and watch it and then watch this one. So let's get started with today's topics. Uh, we have another amazing episode for you guys, as usual. So the first topic that we're gonna talk about is the first football game back. Oh my God, the Cowboys have definitely let us down. The Bucks versus the Cowboys, it was a crazy ending and a crazy game for sure. But that's football and it's back, baby. So, and then we're going to talk about the BET Awards. Oh, some people are happy, some people are upset, but we have all of the information for you today. So you get to hear all of the exclusive tips that's going on with the BET Awards this year. Then, to end this whole thing on now, Biden's been doing good, but he's actually getting some negative feedback with the decision that he just made. Is this the best decision for America? You can tell me and we can discuss it together. So, another episode of 82 Seconds with Cuddy. Man, I'm so happy to have you guys back, but I think me and you both want the same thing and that's for this episode to start so let's get started right now all right let's get started with this beautiful episode and we're going to start this episode off right so the nfl is finally back uh everybody's been waiting for it and the first game is officially in the book so the cowboys played the buccaneers last night and Dak Prescott and Tom Brady gave us a game that only we can want from any football game. Now, I ain't gonna lie, Dak had just one. I'm not even gonna lie, Dak had it, had it in the bag. Um, it seems that the last minutes and 24 seconds of the game, actually, it was the deciding factor of this one. Uh, the Cowboys came in hot. Uh, Dak, I believe, threw for over 400 yards. And the Cowboys were looking good. You know, the game was looking great. Uh, and it seems like the last minute and 24 seconds, uh, all of the Buccaneers would have needed was a field goal to win. And Tom Brady went into Tom Brady mode. And he dominated that last one minute, 24 seconds in the fourth quarter, as we know him to do. So Tom Brady brought the ball all the way down the field to end it with a field goal and win the game Buccaneers won 31-29 against the Cowboys. Now, while both teams looked at great, both quarterbacks looked at great, Tom Brady threw for four touchdowns while Dak Prescott threw for three, it just seems like, is this guy ever going to get old? Like, is he ever not going to be doing the impossible? He literally came back with a minute, 24 seconds left. The Cowboys had won the game. So, the NFL's back. Um... Everybody's upset to see that the impossible man is still doing the impossible. Like, a minute, 24 seconds left? Really, Dak? You should have took that home. So, the Buccaneers won the first game of the season. Uh, Tom Brady and Rob Gronkowski are actually celebrating a 100 touchdowns together. So, they've been playing for a long time, and they have celebrated their 100th touchdown with the first game of the season. So, my question to you guys is, the Buccaneers going to take it back to back this year? Do you think with this win that they're on their way uh, to just locking in to being a championship team again? Or was this just another great Tom Brady moment and we were just here to witness it? So definitely let me know how you feel about it inside of the comments. Join the conversation. Uh, how did you think that this was going to go? You know, it ended definitely crazy. So let me know inside of the comments. The Buccaneers beat the Cowboys 31-29. Moving on to the next subject, though, we got to talk about the BET Awards. They are coming back. And every year, some people question why they're coming back, but they're coming back nonetheless. And this year, the same question has been brought up. So, uh, of course, there are a lot of nominees for the BET Awards. Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion actually holding the most nominations of the night. They're actually neck and neck with nine nominations each. 
but it seems like not everybody is so happy and everybody is getting nominated. Um, it seems like on The Breakfast Club they were having a debate on who should win hip hop platform of the year and it seems like academics actually was not listed. So everybody gave the answer academics and to see his name not present on the ballot brought up a couple of questions on what's going on, why, who doesn't know that academics is one of the best hip hop platforms out. So definitely a lot of people had a lot to say about that. They were very upset and the awards just seem to be getting more and more dampered down and nobody wants to watch these things. So hopefully they make a change uh, by adding academics or in really looking at the culture and see what we're doing so that people will watch the awards. I mean, come on now, this is just common sense. So who do you wanna see win a nomination at the BET Awards? Of course, all of our favorite celebrities are gonna be there, but who do you wanna see walk home with an award this year? Um, it's a lot of nominations. They got best collab, they got best artist of the year, hip hip hop album of the year. So let me know inside of the comments who you wanna see win. So join the conversation. Let us know how you feel about the BET Awards this year. Um, they're bringing it back, so somebody's got to be watching, right? That's all I'm going to say about that. Moving on to the last subject of this video, though. Joe Biden has been making headlines. He started off doing good, and then he did this. So, uh, Joe Biden wants to mandate all federal workers and all businesses that have over 100 employees to have the vaccination. Every employee must be vaccinated to work at that establishment. Now, Joe Biden's name has been in the headlines for trying to increase uh, people's insurance if they're not vaccinated at work, and then obviously make them take a bunch of vaccination tests saying that they're not negative, really trying to make it um, just harder for people who don't want to get the vaccination and it seems like he is literally stepping up his game. So uh, he made this announcement earlier this week that he wants all federal workers and all businesses with over a hundred employees to mandate their employees to have the vaccination. Now Pence our last person who was dealing with Trump uh, came in to say that he does not agree with this. He feels like this is unhuman um, and he just doesn't agree, basically. Uh, so definitely let me know what you think about that. Do you feel like they're kind of pushing this vaccination on the people? I mean, they've given us money. They've done car giveaways. They've tried to charge us more for insurance just to make us get the vaccination. I mean, how do you feel about all of this? Um, I think they're really taking a toll on the uh, America with this, you know, because we have a lot of different opinions about it. So join the conversation in the comments. Let me know what you think about this whole thing. And do you work for a business that has more than 100 employees? And have they given you this news yet? So let's do a brief recap of this episode if you missed it, but I doubt you did because you made it this far. So uh, we started this episode talking about the first game opener of the season, the Bucks versus the Cowboys, and Tom Brady did what Tom Brady had to do to seal the game, and the Cowboys... Looks like you're going to have another disappointing season. Then, moving on to the next subject, the BET Awards is here. It's announced October 5th. It's going down, but some people have a problem with the nominations, and Cardi B and Meg Thee Stallion are going to be fighting to see who takes home the most awards that night. So definitely stay tuned in for that. And then, Joe Biden, man, you was doing good. You had us, and then you lost us. See, you're trying to mandate the vaccination. How do you feel about him trying to mandate the vaccination for all businesses that have more than 100 employees? Let me know how you feel about that. I definitely want you guys to stay tuned. We don't want you to go anywhere. This is the only place you can come and hear about the best topics that you want to hear about. So don't go anywhere. Of course, subscribe so you never miss an episode. We never want you to miss one of these things. These episodes are epic. We're giving you the news. Then like this video for a friend to see. So you know what I'm about to do, guys. Unfortunately, I got to go. I've given you all the news that I got. And I'm going to have to see you another time. But I'm going to miss you. So definitely, I am your host, Cuddy from Cuddy TV. We will be speaking again. But unfortunately, this is the end of 82 Seconds with Cuddy today. And I'll see you guys next time. I'm signing out.